Greetings, my unique Aquarians. Uh, this is Soul, Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general weekly focus reading for all of my unique Aquarians for the week of October 6th to the 13th, 2015. Before I begin your reading, I want to uh, thank uh, my new subscribers and also thank the wonderful people who continue to follow my channel and support the work that I am doing. Um, I am feeling blessed, totally blessed, full of gratitude and feeling appreciative uh, for all the support that I have been receiving since I started this channel. Uh, and I thank you so much. If there is anyone who wants to uh, secure a reading with me. And if there is anyone who is interested in knowing uh, which deck I am using, uh, just expand the show more underneath the video and uh, go from there. Uh, let's jump right into this reading for my Aquarians for the week of uh, October 6th through the 13th. Uh, we have some interesting energy coming up for you. And... Keep in mind that some of the messages that I do receive will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. OK, so the overall energy we have for you going into the week of October 6th through the 13th, we have the higher font in the reverse. This higher font has shown up, I think, for a couple of signs and just recently uh, Sagittarian. Uh, it's in the reverse. It's a major arcana. And I always associate uh, major life events with uh, major arcana. So with the Hierophant in the uh, reverse uh, for uh, Aquarian energy for this week, there is the same thing that I had said for the uh, Sagittarians. Um, there's some sort of learning and teaching not being done or the concepts of learning and teaching is not being uh, received. Uh, this also, too, and, and since it is the theme, is more powerful than uh, it being in your past position, present position, or a future outcome position. So it's the overall energy. I feel that there is some sort of uh, either you're trying to teach someone something or they're trying to teach you something and they're just not grasping the concept. You could be uh, and this could be within a relationship. And it also could be um, since, you know, the higher fun is. Uh, always representative of, you know, like uh, higher learning and uh, institution churches and stuff like that. So I feel that uh, there's some teaching going on that's not being received well uh, from some of the Aquarians that I'm reading for. If it's not you directly, then you're trying to teach someone some something that they're not grasping. I also feel that with the uh, higher font, it's all about two people coming together. It's a union card. So I feel that if there was any, you know, wedding plans um, that were laid out for uh, some of the Aquarians who wish to uh, make it legal, there might be a postponement or a temporary setback uh, with that situation. But I feel strongly, though, it has a lot to do with uh, teaching and learning. Um either done by you or someone's trying to teach you something again and also too it could be like i said involving uh if you are a student and um you're trying to learn something maybe you've taken a new class or it could have been you know an online course that you were taking and you're just not getting it or if you're you know physically in an institution sitting in the classroom and the teacher is trying to um explain to you um, the concept of the uh, teaching and you're not grasping it. Also, I feel within a job situation, it may be that you, you know, started a new job or, you know, some new work was brought, um, placed before you and they're trying to teach you how to do your new job. So it's, it's multiple messages with this higher font for the Aquarians this week about teaching and learning and the concept of not uh, grasping whatever it is that you need to learn or whatever you're trying to teach someone else. Also, I feel um, the higher font is, is some of you may be dealing with a uh, earth sign. Taurus in particular uh, could be a Capricorn or a Virgo, male or female energies. Uh, so th those are the messages. And this is the energy for you this week. Some sort of teaching and learning is not being received well. 
uh, again, either by you or by someone trying to teach you something. Okay, so in your recent past, and the recent past for me is like yesterday going back to a month since this is a mini read, and we have the Ten of Swords in the uh, reverse. Uh, the Ten of Swords in the reverse is a good card to have because I feel that some of my Aquarians may have dealt with some sort of um, uh, mental stuff, mental stress. Either it was internal or externally brought on by others. Uh, I feel with this Ten of Swords that some of you may have been uh, deceived, lied to, and possibly betrayed. Uh, it was a very stressful situation, but with the uh, Ten of Swords in the uh, reverse, in the passing position, you're overcoming that, so you already experienced it, but some of that energy, I feel, with some of you are, is still lingering on, but it's passing you, you will overcome it. Uh, also, there was just a lot of mental agility going on, and I'm feeling that because it's Ten Swords, that it was conflicting stuff brought on by others uh if it wasn't then it's definitely a message that i'm getting that it might have been a lot of your own uh sorting out of um whatever is close to you uh in terms of sorting out you know your life's directions or just trying to pull everything back in to uh, make sense for yourself uh, so I do feel that there was a lot of conflict and stuff with some of the Gemini, um, excuse me, some of the Aquarians uh, in the recent past uh, that you dealt with. But tens also uh, represents a closure. And some of you are dealing with a conflict in situation, but you're not ready to close it yet. So whatever the situation is that's close to you, this is what I speak of and the messages that I'm putting out there to you. Uh, there's a hanging on of a conflict. And even though it's in the reverse, some of you are, are over it, but some of you are hanging on to it and not releasing it. And um, this is still bringing on some stress for you. And what the message is, is for you to completely uh, release whatever it is that's brought on the conflict so that you can um, close out that one phase because the tens are always about a closure and then an uh, opening or new beginning. So a fresh start. So the ones who are hanging on to a, a situation that happened in the recent past, the message is for you to release it and let it go. Uh, and also, too, I'll connect this uh, Ten of Swords with the uh, higher fine as the energy uh, is in terms of teaching and learning. And maybe this is, you know, going back to that, uh, you know, teacher classroom situation that if you're in a classroom or if you're taking a class and you're not, you know, grasping the concept of what it is that you need to learn. This, too, may be part of the reason why the Ten of Swords is in your recent past. It's brought on a lot of uh, stress. But I do associate that Ten of Swords, though, with someone lying, uh, uh, deception, and possible betrayal. And I get backstabbing, too. So it could have been a situation involving a relationship or it could have been, a, you know, a friendship uh, situation could have been someone in your family and it also could have been involving someone that you uh, work with that you closely work with that uh, you had placed some trust in and that person betrayed you or lied to you or deceived you it could be another uh, air sign individual male or female gemini aquarius or libra that may have done that to you um but the, the strongest message is for you to release whatever conflict that you endured in the recent past so that you can bring in that fresh energy and start anew. Going into the middle of the week, we have the Three of Swords in the upright. Now, unfortunately, uh, the Three of Swords is not a good card to get in any reading. Um, it's all about, the Three of Swords is all about separation, heartache, loss, disappointment. Normally, it's associated with um, relationship splits. But I'm going to throw a new twist here with this Three of Swords. It is in the upright, so that's definitive to me to say that there is going to be some sort of separation that takes place uh, with a few of the Aquarians that I speak of. And then also the twist that I'm speaking of is that if you don't f physically separate from someone, then you're feeling like they're you're separated from that person within a relationship so you can still be in a relationship with the three of swords but there is some sort of um separation that you may feel on a mental level 
Uh, maybe it's because uh, the relationship that you're in, you don't feel like you're all inclusive. And that that's the separation that I speak of. But I do feel a split coming up. And I don't know or recall what I said for you for last week's reading and or what I said for you for October's love reading. But I feel for this particular week, energy wise, there's going to be a split or a separation. And unfortunately, as you know, news that I have to deliver. Uh, and again, I still feel that there are Aquarians who are in solid, stable, loving relationships. And I'm only delivering the messages for the ones that are dealing with these issues. Um, and keep in mind the three of swords, uh, the threes that always show up. There's a triangle going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a love triangle going on with some someone or some of you and i feel that that's where the separation uh, either you're attached and someone is going to separate from you or you're t you know the person if this you is if this is you the female in this card and this is for males and females uh, and the three of swords shows up in the middle position it could be you who is dealing with a triangle and I feel that um, you may separate or finally leave the, the triangle or the separation and you might separate from that. Uh, and then, you know, um, come to some sort of realization that it's not working out for you. This is not what you want. Um, you can do better. Uh, however, it applies to you. But this is the message that I'm getting that there is a triangulation going on with some of my Aquarians. Uh, and it may not be that. Um, it could be just an interest and not necessarily a physical thing, but I feel that there was some sort of um, situation. There is a situation going on uh, involving three people. And either you walk away or the person who was attached walks away from you. So that's not really good news to deliver. And keep in mind that I did say the twist is that you could be in a relationship minus a triangulation with someone and just feel like you're separated uh, from that person because it's all about um, um, not being feeling like you're not unified with that person. There might be just some sort of minor uh, conflicting stuff going on in terms of, you know, of your relationship. But I don't feel that for you it, it may be a separation so there's a couple of messages here there is a separation going to take place a split with some of my aquarians that split may involve either a triangulation you walking away from a situation or the person that you're involved in that is attached walks away from you uh and then also to the um feeling of being separate or a split within a relationship but not necessarily a physical parting of the ways uh i just feel that this particular message that I'm, I'm trying to deliver is all about you not feeling unified within that relationship and that's where the i sense the separation but not a, a, a physical split okay um but i definitely see someone walking away and this could also uh, be with another air sign, such as yourself, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra individual. And also with the Three of Swords in the middle of the week for you, and I'm saying hanging on with the Ten of Swords for someone who needs to let go of a situation, this may speak of the Three of Swords that's in the middle of you. If you're involved in the triangulation and not wanting to release, and let go but if you let go then that fresh energy for you uh, comes in and uh it releases you um <clears throat> and you don't feel bound or um tied to it i just feel that the person that i speak to they have a sense of knowing that the situation that they're involved in is not resonating with them and it's not sitting well with them it's bringing a lot of mental stuff their way that is unwelcomed so that's the message that i'm getting for someone out there who's involved in the triangulation and they need to release it uh make a decision to move uh beyond it 
um, because it doesn't serve their highest purpose or their highest good. Uh, and you will uh, make a decision possibly to move away or move out from that situation because at the end of the week, um, you have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Eight of Pentacles is all about being uh, stable, feeling grounded and feeling secure within yourself. And this also is a um, message for uh, the Aquarians in terms of their work. By the end of the week, you're going to be feeling like you're stable, uh, grounded and feeling secure. I feel that there could be some sort of pay raises going on promotions possibly but there's an overall feeling of um security that you're going to feel by the end of the week so whatever you deal with during the week the start of the week in the midweek by the end of the week you should be feeling more stable more grounded and feeling more secure uh, whether it's with a job or whether it's with you making a decision about leaving a situation involving involving a triangulation uh if it's not a triangulation and you're in a relationship and you still feel separated from that person uh i feel by the end of the week there's going to be some sort of resolve and then you're going to be feeling more stable and secure within that relationship okay so that's the messages that i have for my aquarians uh for the week of october 6th to the 13th the fairy oracle card that i have chosen for you is uh beauty and the beast I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of bright. But on this card, it just says unconditional love. And uh, since I'm getting to know these cards, uh, there's nothing really more for me to add uh, to that uh, message for your reading. Unconditional love. If you know anything about love itself, uh, to love anyone, it has to be unconditional. Um, and even, you know, loving yourself unconditional. So if there is a situation involving a triangulation, take this message and apply the unconditional love. You're more worthy uh, than sharing yourself with someone else who's already attached and vice versa. So that's the message that I added to this card for your reading. OK, so I want to thank all my Aquarians once again for visiting my channel. And um, I wish you all a very safe, uh, blessed week uh, ahead. Until the next time, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.